Hello, welcome back to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, we are going to go a little deep dive into the pre filter policy that is available on access control policy. Let's create a new pre filter policy and associate the policy with access control policy. In this pre filter policy, I'm going to create a rule which says that allow a, a host from inside to outside and then uh, make the action as fast path so that the traffic does not goes to um, snort engine or the uh, no, advanced uh, inspection and bypass the um, all the application level inspection and then uh, the packet is directly sent to the outside this pre filter policy is predominantly used for uh, uh, to allow the traffic which are trusted in nature example yeah, you know that uh, traffic from your one of the backups and uh, server uh, network to a backup uh, network where you want to replicate the data and you know these traffics are trusted and does not need any inspection you can create a pre-filter policy to allow the traffic without any further advanced inspection the other use case would be you know uh, the traffic from an x network uh, uh, does not wants to go to the other net um, y network with IP address, so you can simply create an access um, pre filter rule uh, with IP defined and then block at the pre filter level, with, um, which means that we, uh, we don't require to um, use uh, resource intensive advanced inspection to uh, not to handle this kind of traffic where you know that these traffics are can be blocked at IP level. Let's go to the FMC and then create a rule go to access control policy uh, I'm going to create a new pre filter policy so I'm going to name this as demo pre filter create add pre filter rule I'm going to name it as server backup I'm going to set the action as fast path uh, source in, in, uh, in interface as inside uh, inside and destination as outside are true network I already have um, network object created I'm going to use that same so inside host is uh, 172 to 16 10.10 .10. I'm also going to do a logging of this connection so that I can see that on the event viewer apply this policy go back to access control rule the first thing that you have to do is uh, by default access control policy will be pointing at default pre filter rule which is a default comes with the box uh, I'm going to change this uh, to a rule which I have created save this policy and also I'm going to create one more rule which is going to be a conflicting so I'm going to say block all the traffic this is to just to make sure that uh, we know that if the traffic is been allowed from inside to outside it is being allowed by the pre-filter uh, if it um, passes through the field pre filter and then if it comes here this rule will drop the packet let's apply this policy and then and deploy the policy to the device now the deployment is successful let's go to the device and um, send traffic and check so the traffic is successful I'm able to reach the destination let's check on the connection uh, events so I could see that uh, traffic um, is being allowed on the based on the action fast path from 1.16.10.10 and then to a destination 1.9.1.16.10.10 ingress egress interface um, 
protocol that is ICMP um, on the device Firepower 2130. Apart from this connection event, we can also verify the traffic uh, by, by the capture trace um, diagnostic tool that is available on the device. In order to access the capture trace, you have to go to device device manager and click on this uh, troubleshooting tool icon. Uh, um, on the device which you want to do a diagnostic click on advanced troubleshooting which will take you to the advanced troubleshooting page where you can click capture with a trace I'm going to create a new capture uh, policy where I can uh, name and name for this capture event create a filter if you want to and then select interface on which you want to capture in my case the inside interface let's start the capture and then I'm going to uh, trigger a traffic here from the inside to outside as usual the traffic is getting passed and um, Let's see if it, it captures an event. So as you could see that it has captured eight packets. Uh, let's analyze them one by one. The first packet here, you can see that the traffic is generated from 116 10.10 to a destination of 192.160.10.10. The protocol is ICMP echo request. The phase one, the capture event, uh, the capture component. The second is access list, uh, where you can say that it's allowed. Uh, next is route lookup. And then uh, you can uh, see the phase four, that access list, where uh, uh, ACL, that is with action as trust. What we have created is a fast path. Um, the fast path on the FMC is equivalent to the trust on the CLI uh, which is from inside host um, to an outside host from inside interface to the outside interface and you can see other components such as um, connection settings that is uh, and, and NAT and opt um, NAT and IP options all other components um, just allow the traffic and then the traffic is successfully sent to the to the egress interface which is an outside and then the traffic is successfully sent outside this is how we can verify using the capture trace component apart from that action as a fast path you have other action as block and analyze apart from pre-filter you have tunnel rules if you want to know more about a pre-filter policy, check out my other video on pre-filter policy where I have explained all in details about the pre-filter um, various policies. With this, we have come to the end of this video. In the next video, we are going to talk about security intelligence. See you soon. Bye-bye.